In this one, we are gonna be creating a search component. That is, we're gonna replace this search button to actually do something. So the first thing that we'll do is introduce two-way data binding. So let's go ahead and create our search component. And really simply, we of course do ngg component, and I'll call it search. Search is created and it's also added to our module, our app module. So inside of our app component, we're actually going to replace this form with our new search. So in search component, I am going to leave it as that. And then component.ts, we're going to change it from app search to being serve up search um, or simply search. And that's okay too. Going back into app component, we now are going to take out this form. I'll just comment it out for a moment and type out search as its own tag. We'll do ng serve again and let that load for a moment. So now it's loaded. We go back in here and we see it says search works. It doesn't look great, but it's there. Okay. So since it's there, that means that I can actually cut out this form now and bring it back into our HTML. So I save that, comes back, and now it's here. Well, it doesn't seem like it's here, so let's actually do two-way data binding. Now, two-way data binding is really cool. So basically what it means is that if I type in this text, I can have that used somewhere else. So to declare it, we use brackets and parentheses and then ng model, and then we set that equal to some name. In this case, I'll call it search query. Okay, so that's our model. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And I'm gonna go back and take a look. And what I see here is it says, if ng model is used within a form tag, which it is, either the name attribute must be set or the form control must be defined, blah, blah, blah. So the name attribute must be set. So that means if we look at here, there's no name. So you real simply just say name equals to search query. That's fairly common practice for inputs anyway. So yours might already have that. If it didn't, just make sure you have it. Again, it has to do with the form module itself. So the errors go away and that's great. So the next thing that I wanna do is I'm just gonna add the search query down here. So if I do search query, notice the curly brackets and I refresh in here. Uh, looks like everything's fine. So I do, I start typing and notice my button is changing based off of what I'm typing in here. That's called two-way data binding. Now to be safe, you could also just do span ng if search query. And then I'll just say search for that and then I'll use that same span for the opposite of that. And we'll say search, close that span off, refresh, and now it's doing some other stuff, right? So you can use this for something called type ahead. You can use it for all sorts of things. But what we're doing here is I'm using just the search query itself. Actually, come to think of it, you probably wouldn't use this for type ahead. You would use something different called change, which we're not gonna cover right now. Um, but that is essentially how two-way data binding works. Now this doesn't make any sense. Like I'm not gonna actually show the query on the button. So I don't need that. I'm actually gonna get rid of those things, but it's really just to illustrate what two-way data binding is. And now I suggest that you try it out on your own. And the next one will actually make this form work a little bit more.